Now again, it's also Memorial Weekend. But the word Pentecost is a Greek word that means 50. And, and Pentecost was so named because it fell on the 50th day after the Sabbath of the Passover. Now Pentecost was also known as the Feast of Weeks. And also to this during the part of celebration that Jews brought to God their first fruits. And additionally, it was during Pentecost that the greatest harvest of souls were converted and, and united together through the work of the Holy Spirit. And I guess I want to pause right now. I want to say thank you for coming together at the altar because again, there is strength and unity and there is power in prayer. What better time to start off a worship service is on the day of Pentecost and on this morning. And again, I encourage you that every Sunday, Lord, spare all of our lives that we meet at the altar in prayer because it was in prayer that the church was founded. Amen? But as we look here in the second chapter, and I want you to read with me, read the first verse. Second chapter, first verse. Let's stop reading the first verse. Go ahead. When the day Yeah, 
they attributed the behavior and the words they spoke to being drunk with cheap wine. Now, my question to you is this. Do you know what the Holy Spirit is? Do you know what the Holy Spirit is? Who is the Holy Spirit? Amen? Okay. Well, since you know, I'm going to reemphasize, and at the same time, we can all be on the same page. Amen? Okay. The Bible says in Acts, the second chapter, that the Holy Spirit is not a what? But the Holy Spirit is a he. He is the third person of the Trinity who came to reside within followers of Christ following Jesus' death and resurrection and ascension to heaven. Now the Bible says here also in John, I want you to make a note of that. The Bible says in John 14, 16 to 18, Jesus told his disciples, I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper that he may be with you forever. The spirit of truth whom the world
Christ. Amen. Now, you say, well, how does a person become born again? Well, a person becomes born again by believing and receiving Jesus Christ as Lord. If you look in John 1, 12 through 13, as well as John 3, 3 through 21, you will find an explanation. Again, there's a conversation going on between Jesus and Nicodemus. He said, well, how can a man be born again? Should he enter into his mother's womb? No. So the thing is here, Thank you. 
slaves. You've gone to work. You've gone home. You've gone to all of different places. And you've been touching lives. That spirit is going out. And so that's why it's so important to steal away and get a refill. Again and again. And when you come to a point in your life, and when God becomes real to you, now I'm not talking about what mama told you, grandma or grandpa or dad or anybody else. I'm talking about when you know God for yourself and you can say, when I look back over my life and I think where, where the Lord has brought me from, not only think, but when I know where God has brought me from,
to Jesus while you had a chance. Tomorrow is not promised to you. But not only that, this is Memorial Weekend. Many of you are drunk on something else. I thought it was interesting. How often times did that people buy it? Did they have this plan? Is that Memorial Weekend was planned around Pentecost? But we would give God the praise and how they were in the upper room and they said they were drunk in the spirit? What interesting enough is when the whole lot of folk drunk and violent. But today, as you are here, we invite you that you don't have to get drunk on a temporary thing. Because the thing is, once you go up, you're not going to come down. But the thing is, you get your hangovers. Thank you. 